6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Still going. I'm going to be out here probably late tonight. So, I took a break from e-waste and took some aluminum windows apart. Yeah, there you go. And I decided I was going to make more piles. So, I started working on a garbage can. And got this bench cleared off enough so that I could uh, work on it because I had a bunch of crap on it. Here, Kevin, I'm using your gloves. So, yeah, I'm going to clean these up. Um, and when I get that done, decide what else I want to do. I already got some uh, ice series there. 5, 10, 11, there's 12. That was just in these boards. There's still a bunch of them on these boards, too. There's some I series on here. There's one right there. What's that say? Can we see it? Oh, wait. I3. What's this one? There's another one. Probably an I3, too. I5. That's a $6. $6. What about this one? Another $6. So there's three right there. Three right there and a million there. So those have to be added up yet. But I added up all my um all these all these damn totes. Focus. Damn phone. I need a new phone. So there's uh three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seven, nineteen totes there. Those are all weighed up. And so my uh, my amount now is I am at 3,035 pounds $4,567. So there you have it. And I noticed uh, CD-ROM boards went down. I didn't know that. Because I had um... Oh. I don't know, 40 pounds of those damn things. Look at that. So RAM, I had 16 pounds so far, 20, 50 a pound, so 328 in RAM. CD-ROM boards are right here. Um, they were five something a pound, so they took a big dip. So 43 pounds, $189. But uh, like large socket, I had 60 pounds of those so far. I got more laying there. Uh, back planes, so they add up, adds up. But like I said, the van only holds 3,500. So I'm getting close. Um, I was gonna go either Monday or Tuesday. Um, I was thinking Monday. I was gonna go to the scrapyard tomorrow and get rid of the aluminum I got laying around, the wire and all. But um, she's back in the hospital, so I'm kind of on standby. She went to the doctor's appointment today to see what was um, um, going to happen or go on. And her jaundices, they weren't happy with that. So she still has that tube in her side. And that was still had some drainage in it. Um, so they want to do, an, I guess, an outpatient uh, thing with her uh, tube tomorrow. So... Um, I'm not sure if it's going to happen tomorrow. If it don't, then it's going to be probably Monday. So we'll have to see what happens there. But um, me and my buddy are kind of on standby if it does and she needs a ride home. Um, you know, we'll go get her. So i am got everything pretty much on hold again. Uh, so we see what's going on with her. Um, she's upset and, you know, I mean, it's understandable. It's sad, but it's understandable. Um, you know, right away, you know, I'm going to die. Well, we're all going to die. I keep telling her that. But I also tell her, you know, no matter what the uh, 
the outcome is that the doctor tells you whether it's you know terminal or whatever you still got to live you know and, until it's time to uh till your body gives up so just try to keep her positive and you know she tells me oh i don't want to die you know, i want to live and so as long as she has that attitude and she's willing to fight you know things will be a little easier on her but um what they're saying is that it is um the mass that's there is in the center of her pancreas and um, what it's doing is putting pressure on the blood vessels so that's you know what the problem is um, and you know it's just I don't know if you know the chemo and the radiation it might slow it down I mean I'm not a doctor but I play one in the garage but um, you know I mean I've lost a lot of friends to cancer so, um, and I know a lot of friends with cancer and, you know, it's just, um, I guess your mindset and your will, you know, but we'll see what happens. But like I said, right now I'm on hold. Um, I could go to the scrapyard, but you know, I don't want to get a phone call while I'm there that, you know, Hey, you know, I can get picked up or whatever. So I'm just going to, um, I guess grind this out for the weekend. Um, like I said, I finished these up tonight. Um, I have no in, uh, intention of going in the house anytime soon, so probably not at 10 o'clock by the time I get in there. Um, I'll get those done. I'll weigh them up, add them to the total. Yeah, I'm just going to try to keep a track of everything I add on there so I don't have to add it all up a million times. But... Everything is pretty much, uh, I didn't weigh these, uh, little hard drives with the boards. I didn't weigh those in. And those I wait till I take a bucket full. The pinless. These little damn things add up too. Oh! And I think I used to take these and, uh, get the gold off of them. <laughs> Learn from your mistakes. So there is 20, 27 pounds. Bucket is two, so 25 pounds there. I don't even know what those pay anymore. They used to be like five something a pound. But pinless. All right, let's go CPUs. Let's do this real quick. CPUs. Uh, Equip buying pinless. I can never find pinless. I don't know why. I do up this thing a hundred times before I find it. No pin. What did I say it was? 25 pounds? So 25 pounds or 525 a pound. So then you go down here and you look for. I wonder why it puts it like everywhere. You should put it in an order that you uh, put it in. No pin CPU. So there's $131 in that bucket. 25 pounds. So I'm going to deduct those right now. But if I left them in there, that would bring my total to $4,698. So. But yeah, CPUs, I wait till I get a crap load of them. And then I take them because, you know, I got a bunch of green fibers. I got slot processors, black fibers. These are just... P4s with the metal on them. Um, what else we got here? I don't have any more ceramics. Got some apples in there. All kinds of goodies. So, that's my progress for today. Three videos. You people should feel honored. Three videos. And then I had that old senile guy from Florida call me. Trying to talk to me. I don't know what the hell he wanted or what he even said. I just said, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so. Alright, guys. I will uh, give you an update on the neighbor when I hear. Uh, you put her back in your prayers. I'd appreciate it. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good night, everybody. Stay safe. Appreciate y'all.